So I wanted to change things up just a bit for this week's video and share with you a, a real quick story. So about two years ago, I was an attendee at a landscape photography conference in Moab, Utah, where it basically proceeded to rain for the entire duration of this event. But on the very first evening, we did receive some decent weather conditions. It wasn't anything spectacular, but it would be the best conditions that we would see the entire week. So I remember getting to my sunset location on this particular evening, not having a lot of time to, to scout out a composition that would complement the colors that were already starting to appear in the sky. So I'm frantically rushing around the scene, trying to whip together a composition. It took me about maybe 20 or 30 minutes to come up with something. And by this time, I only had a few moments left to try and capture the, uh, the peak color that was already starting to, to slowly fade in the sky. So I'm rushing through my composition, trying to set everything up as fast as I possibly can. I'm rushing through my camera settings and I'm able to get off two exposures. But both of these images have a, a severe error associated with them that really left both of them completely unfixable and really completely destroyed. And this really stung as I, I not only did I, I like this location a lot, I thought the, the weather conditions were good. I thought the, the composition worked well. I thought it was on point, but evidently in my haste of rushing around, I was the factor that was completely not on point in this particular situation. And I, you know, however, I, I, I never deleted these photographs because I felt to myself, you know, this could have been my favorite image from this entire trip because these were probably the best conditions we'd see. And I loved the location, but I kept them because I thought maybe one day there was something I could do with these images. And here they are right here. This is the, uh, the the raw file, and I'm sorry, this is the raw file here, and this is the completely edited version. And both of the images I captured were exactly the same, but this is the, the, the fully edited, this is the best that I could possibly get it, and I'm sure you can already tell what the issue is. I completely overexposed or blew out my highlights in this entire area right through here around the arch, which is argu arguably the most important part of this scene. And this is an error that you cannot fix. Almost any error that you create in photography, I feel like you can usually fix somehow in uh, post-processing, but overexposing your highlights or completely blowing them out, there's just nothing you can do with that. So fast forward to, I guess last month, I see this video, two videos actually on YouTube about reaching out to Photoshop experts to edit your photos. And I've always heard of these services, but I never really paid much attention. I figured they were super expensive. But I was really intrigued by this because I thought to myself, I wonder what a Photoshop expert, if they could save one of my favorite photos from that trip. I knew they couldn't fix it, but could they replace the sky with another sky of mine that I thought would complement this scene? I don't do a lot of, a, I don't do any really, uh, composite imagery. I'm not against it or anything like that. I just don't do it enough. I'm not very good at it. I'm not comfortable with my ability. So I thought to myself, you know, that might be something you know interesting to look into. I didn't have a whole lot of money to, to dedicate to this test. This is not a sponsored video by anybody. So I used my own money for this. And I set myself up a budget of about $100 for this project. And I started to go through the archives of my photos to try and find a sky that I thought would complement this scene well, that really accurately resembled what it looked like in real life. And this is the image I came up with right here. This sky right here, this is from Acadia National Park, is very close to what this sky looked like on this particular evening. So I wanted to see if I gave someone this sky, could they put it here and do it cleanly enough to there wasn't any kind of halos around the arch. This isn't, isn't the easiest sky to blend because the arch is going right through the center of the sky. I wanted to see if they could blend it with no halos, make it look very realistic, match the colors in the sky to the rest of the landscape and really give them free reign to edit the rest of the image however they see fit. So I hopped over to, uh, to Fiverr.com. I've never been there before, but I heard that that was the service to, or, or a good service to do this type of a, a test with. And I started to do a little bit of research. And with the $100 budget, I wanted to get varying degrees uh, from a pricing perspective, just to see exactly what the end result would look like. So I did a lot of research and basically just searching for anyone who does any kind of like landscape Photoshop work or Photoshop wizards, Photoshop gurus, Photoshop experts, all these different types of search queries. And these are the six that I ended up going with. And I wanted to come up with a couple $5 offers. And I think, um, uh, well, to, well, Tuto, I don't think these are names. I think these are handles, but I thought, uh, you know, I will edit your sunset seascape and landscape photos. I looked through the photographs. It's really exactly what I'm looking for. They only had one five-star review, but I said, you know, everybody had to start somewhere. 
but it did have a quick delivery, one day delivery with three revisions. So I went ahead and placed an order with them. I wanted to get one more $5 revision is, or one more $5, uh, I guess, project as well. So I ended up going with, um, where is Star Lion right here? Mainly because 12,514 five-star reviews. It looks like they do a lot of um, portrait work, which isn't exactly what I'm looking for, but with this many amazing reviews, I just had to go with them. Uh, Two-day delivery, unlimited revisions, which I thought was a, was fantastic. So I went ahead and placed an order with them as well. So I wanted to kind of increase the price a little bit more just to see if the quality would increase as well. So I ended up coming over here to Dario Koji, which was, I believe, $10. Yep. And I went through these photos here, and this is pretty much exactly what I'm looking for as well. Seven reviews, 4.9 stars. I will edit your landscape photos. That's exactly what I was looking for. So I went ahead and went with them as well. Now I wanted to kind of increase the ante a little bit to, 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 to see if the, the overall price really in, d determine the better quality. So basically the more you pay is it gonna be a little bit better. So I increased the price to $20 and ended up going to Goliwog, where are you? Right here. I will edit, retouch, Photoshop your landscape, travel photo, photos and pictures. 36 reviews, all five stars. Looked exactly like what I was looking for, sky replacements. So I figured, you know, that's, you know, it's right in line with uh, the type of project that I'm looking for. So I went ahead and placed an order with them as well. Wanted to get another $20 one. So I went with, where are you, Harun Tijik, I believe. And uh, 10 reviews, all five stars. Looks like they're doing sky replacements here and all kinds of different types of replacements. Just basic overall creative working. It did say $5, but once I said I needed uh, a sky replacement and I needed a color matching and just general overall editing, it increased the overall price to $20, but I went ahead and, and did it anyway. And then the final order, wanted to increase the price even more, was for $30. And I was pretty certain that this would be the uh, the the best one overall, because you usually think that, you know, the more you pay, or you pay what you, wait, you get what you pay for. And that one was uh, Aldo Dell. So this one was, uh, it, you know, once again, it said $5, but once I added everything that I needed in there, it came to a total of, uh, of $30. And those were the, um, the six jobs that I ended up going with. And once I, you know, it took a few days. Some of the the, the uh, Photoshop wizards got their projects back the very next day. Others were, you know, two days later or three days later. But here are the actual images right here. So keep in mind, this is the, the raw file straight out of camera with zero editing applied to it whatsoever. And the very first uh, project that came back was actually the $5 order from Whale Tuto. And here is the image right here. So this is the, the raw file. This is the final order for $5. And it's a little aggressive of an edit, in my opinion. I think that um, I think the sky replacement looked pretty well. You can definitely see some halos um, quite uh, prominently all around the arch, beneath the arch, and on top of the arch. And it looks like in this area right through here, whoops, there's just a... Uh, I'm not really sure what exactly this, the blues and purples really coming through there. I don't know if that's a a, um, a a part of actually blending the sky into the foreground. You can actually see it. I mean, into the background, you can see it right through here as well. But once again, here is the raw file, and here is the final version um, for five dollars. So wasn't uh, I, it wasn't exactly the the way I would have edited it, but nevertheless, I think it, it looks okay. Now. The, the next one was another order for $5. And here, you know, once again, here is the raw file. And this one is from Star Lion right here. And I think this one is uh, definitely a little bit more realistic. It's a little bit dark in my opinion, as far as the halos go. I think they're, I think the actual blend is, is pretty good. You can see a, a little bit of haloing up here, but overall I think the sky blending in through the arch and along the, uh, the, uh, the horizon line here is pretty good. I believe the the overall edit, let me go back and forth from the raw. I think the color tone, you, you could tell they, they definitely took a little bit of the blue from the sky and kind of added it into the overall landscape. It looks pretty realistic. So, I mean, I think for, for $5, I don't think you can really get much uh, much better than, uh, than this. Well, I shouldn't say that, but anyway, this is um, a little bit more than, or a little bit better than what I would expect for only spending $5 on this one. Now, the, uh, the next one I believe was uh, $10. And once again, raw file here. 
and here's ten dollars that's pretty good too it looks like they did some uh editing on the the foreground as well maybe a little bit of dodging and burning uh, as far as halos go, yeah, you can definitely see a little bit of haloing, especially right through there. It's not a, a real clean match, but overall, I think it, it looks okay. And I believe they, let me hit, yeah, I think they sent in a couple different versions here. So here's the first one. Here is the second one, the first one and the second one. Looks like they did some different coloring in the, the foreground here. I think the coloring in this one right here probably matches the sky just a, a little bit better. And here is the, the raw file again. Now, the, the very next one was uh, jumping up to $20, so literally doubling the, the overall rate. And this one from Goliwog. And I think that this is this looks good. You know, once again, we're, we're still seeing those, those halos appearing, which is always kind of the, the telltale sign of a, a sky replacement that doesn't quite look really, really natural. So that's kind of something that is the very first thing I'm looking at. Looks like there was some additional editing done to the sky and the, the foreground. Looks like a lot of shadow recovery was done. And I think that the, the color matching between the sky and the overall image looks, looks pretty good. So I don't think that one's too bad. Did they send? Yeah, here's another version here as well. So here's the first version and the second version. This one looks, looks like it just has less contrast. It's a little flatter than this version right here. But I think this one looks pretty good. This one's not bad at all. Now the, uh, oh, actually there's a third one right here. So this is the first version, second version, and the third version here. I think the first and the third are definitely the best. The second one looks a little flat to me. Um, but the, yeah, you can still see uh, a little bit of fringing, a little bit of haloing and artifacts along the edge. So it, it looks okay. Now the, uh, the next one was a, another $20 job. And this one is from uh, Harun Tichik. I think I got it right. Once again, here is the raw file, and here is the $20 program from uh, Harun Tinchik. And uh, it's, uh, it's definitely very, very warm. There is haloing all along the, the arch. Yeah, you can definitely see it uh, very prominent. And it looks like they actually took the coloring from the landscape and applied it to the actual sky up here, which is definitely is, is not what I would have done. I would have used the coloring from the sky to color match the actual landscape. So, but uh, nevertheless, this is the, the, the $20 one. And then the final one was the most expensive. This was the, the, the $30 project from Aldo Dell. I was expecting a lot from this one as well. And here is the raw file for comparison purposes. And here is the $30 job here. So here's the raw file. Here is the $30 job. Uh, let's look for the halos. Yeah, in this one, the, the actual blend is probably the best. I mean, you don't really see, you don't see any kind of real artifacts. There's not any kind of haloing at all. I think the blending of this one is probably the best. I don't necessarily love the edit. They edited the sky a little bit more. This one is definitely cool. So I'm not 100% sure exactly which one I like. I think that, but this one is definitely the one that is blending in the, the, the best. So I'll put all of the images on the screen. I'll label them like A, B, C, D, and you can, and I'm just kind of curious which one of these is, do you think is the best kind of sky replacement for this particular image? I, not a, I'm kind of on the fence. I'd have to kind of look at them a little bit more actually as to which one I think is the best. I do know that the $30 job blended the best, but I don't think that was the, the best overall edit. So I do hope you enjoyed this week's video, something completely different. I wanted to kind of just shake things up a little bit. I don't want anything getting stale ever. And uh, I thought this was definitely an interesting test. It helped me to kind of visually realize what this photo should have looked like if I didn't completely mess it up in the first place. So uh, if you have any questions, if uh, definitely just leave those in the comments section below as well, and I guarantee I will get back in touch with you. And if you did enjoy this week's video, if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And as always, I really do appreciate you watching, and I will see you all next week. Bye.